god, why am I doing this to myself? Again! Hello again, YouTubes! This is Beanie Bomb, and welcome back to Nico Neko Para! A game where apparently you're like an incestual pedophile. A bestiality incestual pedophile. Alright, sounds good. Okay, alright, so. <laughs> Last episode, nothing too awful happened. I mean, of course it was all awful, but nothing too awful happened. Uh, I'm kind of scared to see what will happen this time. So, let's data load. And, uh, there you go. Load this up. All right, let's get right into it. I'm prepared. Are you? I have no objections. Oh! <laughs> God, Ugh, I'm already nauseous, not even joking. Uh, we left off when I was, like, petting them. All right. Oh, I tidied up their hair with a comb. That's what I was doing. See, it wasn't bad. Everything is fine. Everything's great. I wasn't petting them. I was just brushing their hair, and they were appreciating their big brother fixing their hair for them. This is all good. Their soft hair felt nice as always. That's a little weird, but hey, I'm just complimenting them. Uh, I'm just making a comment on how well kept their hair is and how they always remember to use conditioner as well as shampoo. I lightly blonked them both on the head, head while they had their eyes closed. Wow, now we're getting to some abuse then. Okay, I see. Uh, Cashew, that's right, that's my name is Cashew. Now then, why, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? Oh! So, wow, this game is really messed up. <laughs> so apparently humans with cat ears and tails are treated like animals. Um, but apparently they're also my sister or something. I don't know if that's true. I just heard that, or I don't know where I heard that from. I think Psych told me, uh, the person who bought me this game. But I could just leave them on the street and there would be no objections to it. So they had to force their way to move to my new store. Oh, God. Awful. You had no choice. Just tagged along. You too. Well, I figured that had to be the reason. But anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to? This isn't a vacation or a picnic! I moved out because I have no intention of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shakira and the other cat girls are there too. It would be better if you two just... Oh. Am I spo- Oh, I wasn't supposed to click! That was just a really long pause. <laughs> what, are you embarrassed about being hungry? Yeah, no, it's well established that these two have severe body issues. From me, probably. Am I gonna yell at her for needing to eat food? Or something? Like, why is she so scared about her stomach growling? Ugh. Um, that's kinda weird, but I'll look past it. I'll look past it. She doesn't mean it in a weird way. The word cute has like 36 different connotations. <laughs> While listening to the silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past one o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I hadn't eaten anything since this morning either. They didn't eat anything this morning. They didn't eat at all today. You're a horrible brother. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? Damn it, I forgot they called me master. Okay, okay. No, you're not! You are not in my debt! Listen here, vanilla! You're not in my debt because you need food to survive, such as every other organism on this planet. Alright? You, well, you shouldn't be in my debt because I, I give you my sisters or pets or whatever you are, the, the people who I am guardian of nutrition to survive. You're already malnourished as ever. I mean, look at those elbows and wrists. <sighs> These two were easygoing as always. What's this? I'm. Oh. What? Wait, what was that? I saw a horrible cat pun. Ukaimona. Ukaimona. 
is apparently shopping in Japanese. Uh, that's because I'm a dick. I'm pretty sure it is. You guys have probably been wearing like the same clothes ever since you were like born. I don't know. <laughs> They're pretty tight on you. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, that's a bit uncomfortable. I'm already starting to sweat because I'm uncomfortable, but hey, that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna vomit. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay. I'm good now. I'm good. Alright. Uh, let's continue. You'll bother those around us, so try not to get too carried away, you two. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, did you guys know? Did you guys see? I saw that! The freaking boob, <laughs> boob physics! <laughs> ah! She's like six! Ah, oh, I could do this. The video hasn't even been like. Oh god, oh my god, my finger is bleeding. How did that happen? Oh, oh, I got it all on my face. What? Why did I cut my finger? Oh, man! How the heck? Alright, I gotta fashion a band-aid out of this here toilet paper. Holy cow, this game, man. It's hurting me physically and mentally. Frickin' does its torture... Torturous pain have no bounds? Since the refrigerator was empty, we headed to the nearby shopping district to buy groceries. From brand name clothing So <gasps> Wait, oh! Oh, freaking heck! She was thinking about shopping, and Vanilla said that I hadn't taken them shopping for a while. We aren't shopping for clothes or anything. We're shopping for food! <laughs> I really am abusive and neglectful. Holy crap. From brand name clothing stores to supermarkets, there was an array of stores. There was even a drugstore with daily necessities amongst them. If you come here, we have just about everything. That was how the real estate agent had recommended this place to me. Wait, don't you two go shopping with sugar often? Why is that? It's because I don't buy you anything? <laughs> oh snap, did you just insult me? Holy cow, oh man, I'm afraid about what Cashew is going to do to you guys after that. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> hey, first of all, Shigure is your master! I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. And probably tomorrow night. <laughs> Never mind then. Anyhow, keep it down inside the store! Okay? I parted from the two of them. I decided to hurry on ahead. <laughs> and it's the Heart and Soul ripoff again. Heart and Soul! Da, 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 heart and soul da, 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 Heart and soul Heart and soul Heart and soul Heart and but that stuff for you two to use I don't need it So just put it down and come over here <laughs> yeah, I, I- Oh, snap! She came up in my face to say that! Damn! She's tired of my crap, man. Don't just say that and then toss that in the basket all nonchalantly! Oh, she backed up. She knows who's in charge! Which is Cashew and not me. I'm not Cashew, I promise. I had to be on guard, or they would sneak something in when I wasn't paying attention. But I didn't- It doesn't really matter, because, like, at the register, you take out your stuff from the cart and then put it on the little treadmill so that the person can scan it. 
You'd find it. I mean, you'd see it. You could just throw it on the floor or something. I don't know. Do something Cashew would do. They even tried to grab another basket for themselves at the supermarket earlier. Probably with just normal, essential, like- Wait, 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 wait a second. I got mad at them for, for like, them pointing out something that they would use. And I said, hey, that's for you, not me, so put it back. Where are we- Hold on. What? Weren't we shopping for them too? Didn't they need like essentials? <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. It was apparent to me how dreadful an idea it was when they decided to come along. Oh god. <laughs> uh, hold on a second, Vanilla. Uh, last time I checked, the first time you guys were introduced, you lied to me. You lying was the first thing that happened. So I'm pretty sure cat girls are honest is a bit of a misnomer. <laughs> slip? Did she like slip into the shadows or something? Is she gone now? It has nothing to do with being honest! I'm telling you. Don't just put the shampoo in the basket like that! Put it back! <laughs> we haven't washed our hair in six months! Oh my god, it's true! They really didn't have any! <laughs> oh my god, this game... Oh my god! I'm still refusing! It, you, usually it'd be like, okay, fine, I'll do it in these stupid visual novels, but like... God damn. <laughs> yeah, probably! I'm sure you should! Don't put on such an act to confuse the customers around us! Seriously! We'd only just moved here. But suddenly we already had disapproving glares directed at us. Jesus, Cashew, you're an awful human being. I hope you know this. <laughs> no, it's not, silly. <sighs> I'm nauseous again. I really am. I'm also an abusive jerk, what? I'm not a cheapskate. I nearly got reported! After that, it was the same sort of exchange at the supermarket. The whole thing was so awkward that I don't think I can visit that shopping district for a while. Well, I guess you could say that was the cute side of cat girls. Is that the sound of sniffing? Hold on, let me try uh, smelling for a fire. Well, you bet your bottom dollar that I'm not gonna let you have any. <laughs> Idiots! It definitely does! What is that smell? I want it, and none for you. I turn towards the source of it. Oh man, it's another cat girl! This one's a little, just a little bit older. I think she's like eight instead of six. <laughs> oh god. I, I, I wonder how the Steam version is gonna do. Cause I know that the non-Steam version, the version that you get from like the website or something, is a hentai game. And that disturbs me deeply, so I'm like, I'm really concerned for the Steam version. I don't know, like, I don't know what they could do, but I don't really want to find out. <laughs> Takoyaki? Is that like teriyaki, but like better? Bonito flakes on the top. Well, I know Bonito is handsome in Spanish. So is that like handsome flakes? Is that like good looking dandruff? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's pretty rare. I'm also sure if the police come around, they're gonna beat her to death with their batons. Because cat girls in this universe are like. <laughs> they're like racial minorities back in early America. It was a cat girl younger than Chocola and Vanilla. Really? 
You think so? I don't think so. Either way, it doesn't matter. Because they're both like... They're like six to eight, maybe. Max. Maximum. They're clearly very young children. And the fact that the whole entire premise of this game is it's a romance is deeply, deeply nauseating to me. She waved her tiny hands as she politely drew customers in. Wait, hold on a second. What is she doing working? She's like, if she's younger than chocolate and vanilla here, then she clearly is in no state to be doing anything of the sort. She has to be in school or doing homework or something. In human terms, she looked like she was about 12 or 13 years. Oh, absolutely not. She's absolutely no way. Wait, in human terms? Do, do cat girls have the same lifespan as actual cats? Uh-oh. <laughs> in cat years, she was about six months old. Whoa, they're like immortal. That's cool. Oh no. Oh, I just realized that makes justification for the game to be pedophilic. Oh god. That's that's awful. That's really awful. The young cat girl noticed us and ran over. <laughs> she can teleport! <laughs> She's strangling her! Get her off her! Someone help! <laughs> wow. What is this? Anti-racism? Reverse racism going on here? What do you say? Cat girls are better than human girls? Wow. Wow, I'm gonna report you to the- to Valve. My dad works at Nintendo. I'm sure, I'm very sure that that young girl there is used to being touched without consent because of how these cat girls are treated in this abysmal world. Hey, it's a Volkswagen bus. I like those car- Oh! <laughs> Why would it fade out to fade back in if nothing changed? Oh my god, that's- that's awful. It really is, like, racial minorities in early America. Oh my god. They're like slaves. Dear lord. I, I want to remake Django Unchained, but instead of black people, I'll have cat girls. <laughs> the owner of the food stand greeted us. Yes, I am! <laughs> well, to be more exact, they are! Oh my god! They are brother and sister! Oh no! <laughs> it's confirmed! Oh no, that's awful. I might as well read this line. Well, to be more exact, my little sister is their owner. The food stand owner had a very rare Oh, the food stand owner had a smile on her face like she was thinking about a mischievous cat of her child child of hers at a glance it was understandable that seeing a young cat girl made it easy to overlook these things mine were originally stray so <laughs> i don't actually know how old they are the veterinarian said oh my god they really are treated like pets they're humans they're the same thing they just have ears and a tail man oh hashtag Rights for cat girls 2k15. The veterinarian said that they were twins and were now about nine months old. My little sister is actually quite the education freak. Back then they were really noisy, but it was all worth it. The audio balancing, the mastering, it's awful in this game. The music is way too loud, and I'm pretty sure you can't change that, because I remember looking in the options. Oh boy. Stockholm Syndrome talking good things about their abusive capturer. Because they're not even like... Okay, so, so they are stray, so they're not even mine. I literally just, like, captured them, and I'm holding them hostage. Oh god. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this boob physics? I'm crying right now. Oh, 
のご主人だけってことで<笑>愛されてるんだねご主人様は No, it's Stockholm Syndrome. It's not real love. Well, <laughs> I am grateful. She lightly nudged me with her elbow. I responded with a punch to the face. I broke her nose. Hearing this kind of stuff in public sure was embarrassing, and I was sure to remove one of their fingers when I got home. Wasn't sure if it was going to be chocolate or vanilla, but whichever one I saw first when we came through the door was going to lose the pinky for sure. I'm gonna. I think I need to vomit again. Oh, God. Oh, I have nothing left to vomit. I have nothing left to vomit. The three of them are getting along very well. Yeah, a little too well. Made me die. The food stand owner looked fondly at them from nearby. Oh, good, good. We're all kidnappers. That's that's great to hear. Well, at least this food stand owner is good. She's been like a daughter to me. That's great. I mean, at least she actually treats her daughter like a human. <laughs> Human or cats are out the rage, but <laughs> what is this? What are, are they clothing? Are even are they even less than slaves? Like, come on, who wrote this? Oh, I'm sure they are, cause they're people. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. It's just a game. It's just a game. But their knowledge that. The person who wrote this, or the people who wrote this, are actual living human beings. Really, really just grinds my gears, ruffles my feathers and my jimmies. Her words seem tinged with blame and worry. What? How does any of that seem okay? She grumbled, letting out a sigh. Not that long ago, it wasn't rare to see a stray humanoid cat just wandering throughout the town. Yeah, I, I could imagine. But. Now it was more likely for one to see humanoid cats that were well loved by their own. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. I didn't really read that right. But that's good. There was more of a balance, and owners were quite elated. <laughs> then you should be vomiting right now because you're looking at cashew. <laughs> it was a bright and honest laugh. I nodded in agreement. Even though you didn't really agree. That is true. This must be like how pets find their way back to their owners. I smiled at such an uncharacteristic thought of me. <laughs> yeah, Cashy's a bit of a dick, so he normally wouldn't think anything that has to do with empathy at all. Wait, I actually bought them food? That's impressive. I mean, I, I could always cook for you later. You could get the food now and I could cook for you later because you know that I'm not actually gonna cook for you. <laughs> Chocola and vanilla shoulders drooped down heartedly. As they hung their heads, I rubbed them for- Oh no! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop there. We're gonna stop there. All right, thanks for watching.